This is Lori. Lori has a big job. Lori manages calendars and email for trauma doctors at a major medical center. And one of those doctors is the head of the emergency department. Lori spends a lot of time in her inbox. She would like to spend less time in her inbox and more time doing what she really enjoys, belly dancing. This is Ron. Ron works for Microsoft Office. Ron is going to help Lori get out of mail jail. I manage the calendars of three trauma surgeons. If I'm more efficient at my job, then I'm going to be able to um, bring my coworkers up to speed. We want to be a group that gets things done. And right now, I think we're struggling with that. If I was more efficient at my job, I would be taking more belly dance classes. Um, there's actually teacher certification training that I'm interested in. I would do a lot more dancing and some traveling. I probably would start clogging on my deck. I'd be so happy. Definitely. Hello, Lori. Hello. So you get a crazy amount of email. We're going to try to make some of that stuff that we know is not as important. We're going to try to get it out of the way so it's not distracting you. And then we're going to get that stuff that you know is important. You do get important email. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to make that stuff stand out more so it does capture your attention. And then we're going to learn some tricks on how to find stuff within those various inboxes and stuff. We're going to find that stuff really fast. Oh, good. So we're going to begin by dealing with all these messages sent out through a distribution list. We're going to create rules to sort them into subfolders. And we can even run the rules right now and clear out some of that stuff that's already in your inbox. We create a rule for every distribution list that you want sorted into these subfolders. And from now on, all mail sent to these distribution lists just bypasses your inbox and quits distracting you from the more important email. We are going to make the important email that's in this pile stand out so it captures your attention. Okay, I need that. Can you give me an example of somebody who's important and you don't want to miss their email? Yeah, Dr. Alex Rowland. We're going to organize, using color, email sent to Lori will turn blue, email from Dr. Alex Rowland will be red. And this all happens automatically. You've got all the unimportant stuff out of your way now, and we've got all the important stuff highlighted now, and, yeah. and it's grabbing your attention, hopefully. We're all set, right? Well, how do I find what I'm looking for? Instant search is a feature which is new to Outlook 2007. You just start typing in this box, and it starts narrowing the results. The more you type, oh, the more refined your, your results are going to be. You can uh, save yourself the mental tax of having to drag things into individual folders. You can just keep one okay. great big folder and search for it that way. That'll be nice. Excellent. <laughs> High five. High five. Yeah, baby. There's so many tools with Outlook. I can't believe I haven't used them already. I think I'm going to use everything that I learned. I think I'm going to be able to apply the rules directly, have stuff go into the outboxes that I don't need to look at. I'm going to have um, stuff show up that I'm really interested in finding, so I'm not going to miss anything important anymore. And the search function is going to come in really handy because there's a couple of people who always send me stuff that it's hard to find later, so I know I'm going to use that right away. It's going to be useful right away for my whole group. Today, Lori learned how to make the most of her time by managing her email more efficiently. Now, thanks to Office, Lori can spend less time in her inbox and more time doing what she really enjoys. Hello? No, nothing. Just another day at Microsoft.